Well, guess what? They did it. NVIDIA has finally stood up to the oppressors and finally decided to give them what I want. Because today NVIDIA announced that they are releasing a brand new series of graphics cards for miners. The people that the gamers have been essentially at war with over the internet for stealing all the RTX 3000 graphics cards. Because today NVIDIA announced two moves, two very um, peculiar moves. Number one, that they are artificially reducing the maximum hash rate by over 50% of the upcoming RTX 3060. They're doing it by doing some driver magic. And they're doing it to show that, hey, GeForce cards, those are for gamers, and for people who like want to do some very basic like productivity stuff. So could you please, Mr. Miner, not buy up all our GeForce cards, pretty please. And instead of what they're doing is releasing a brand new set of graphics cards intended for miners. These are called NVIDIA CMP, or Cryptocurrency Mining Processor. These will come in several different shapes and sizes, and will be released throughout Q1 and Q2. And they are for mining only. They will offer completely no display output, no nothing. So they are just for mining. So even if you want some kind of output display, you're going to need either a standalone graphics card or onboard graphics. And the most high-end model of these CMP cards, the 90HX, will offer around 86 mega hashes a second, so pretty decent. And that's about everything we know about them. As you can see, the blog post is pretty short. We pretty don't know anything else, even the pricing. But we can expect that the pricing will be rather competitive with GeForce cards, because the whole point of them is to make up a better deal for miners, so they can leave GeForce cards for all of us plebs who only spend all our days gaming. So it would be pretty dumb of them for a GeForce card to still offer a quicker return on investment than one of these brand new cards. So we can expect the price to be pretty decent, and hopefully that will also make mining accessible to more and more people, because I mean, like it or not, it's a pretty big trend in tech world. Even though for many people, especially in the gaming scene, miners are those people who we just don't want to associate with, you know. They're pretty much becoming the persecuted minority of the internet. And we don't even know what architecture they'll be based on. Could they be based on Ampere? Well, that wouldn't make any sense because NVIDIA is already struggling with creating enough Ampere GPUs for GeForce cards, could they be based on, say, Turing? It's still pretty modern, it still had a pretty decent hash rate, that you can just remove all the ray tracing and graphics stuff and just concentrate on mining. That could be more likely. Turing is probably pretty affordable for them to produce nowadays. Could it maybe be based on something even older, like, say, Pascal? Because, well, they already have announced that they are bringing back the GTX 1050, which is a Pascal card, but I need a video about it, which you should go and watch right now or else, it's coming up in our iCards. Or as a perfect act of revenge, if they want to get back at the miners for ruining their reputation by stealing up all the RTX 3000 cards and making a lot of people complain about them 24 7 on Twitter to just release more cards, they could base them on Fermi and then just watch all the miners' houses burn down one after another. But jokes aside, you know that at least one higher person in NVIDIA has fantasies about that. And I have fantasies about you supporting my channel on Patreon, because even one dollar a month goes a long way in having my channel and allows me to make way better videos and also videos on way more interesting topics, so go check it out, it's coming down in the video description below. I'd also love for my Patreons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Naomi Sushi, Tiffany Jacobs and Wolfie, thank you all so so much, your help is really appreciated. And it also does go a long long way. Down there you're also going to find our Amazon associate links for both the states and the UK. You're going to find our affiliate link for Ord Customs if you want a cool customizable keyboard from them. And also our Discord if you want to talk to me or others about this or whatever else really. And that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone, good bye.